In this video, we're taking a closer look at how slide conditions works. But before we dig into slide conditions, it's important to understand the difference between scheduling and slide conditions. Scheduling is scheduling the content in a group, and a group can have one or more screens. The schedules are based on a timeline, and as a general rule, we can schedule as many time slots as we want in the timeline. What's important to understand is that a schedule in a group will affect all the screens in that group. Slide conditions are different. Slide conditions are conditions similar to schedules, but only for specific slides. This means we can schedule individual slides in a playlist. Let's go to Playlists. For this tutorial, we'll use one of our existing playlists. Slide conditions can be found in each slide settings. Open Slide Settings. Slide conditions provide five different conditions we can add to this slide. The date and time, time, weekday, screen, and tag. The date and time condition lets us add a condition based on a start date and end date. Furthermore, you can specify a time of day. In this example, we're adding a condition that means the slide will only play on May 1st. And since this is a one-off slide, we can delete the slide after the condition expires, meaning this slide will be automatically deleted on May 2nd. Let us try another. The time condition lets us specify what time of day this slide should play. For example, we can add a condition that means the slide will only be playing between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The weekday condition is very similar, but based on the days of the week. We can add a condition for Friday and Saturday, meaning this slide will only play on Fridays and Saturdays. The screen condition is based on screens, meaning we can pair this slide with a screen or with multiple screens, even though the playlist is used in a group with hundreds of screens. In this example, we're adding a condition that means this slide only plays on two screens. We also have the option to invert the condition if needed. What this means is that the slide will play on all other screens than the ones chosen in the condition, in this case, our Sony Android TV. The last type of condition is based on tags. You may not be familiar with tags, but if you go to support and search for tags, you'll find a more in-depth video on tags. The tag condition lets us add a condition that means this slide only plays on screens with a specific tag. Remember, when we've added our conditions, we hit save. In the slide overview, we find indicators that tell us basic things about our slides. For example, we have a dotted line around the slide, meaning this slide has one or more slide conditions. We also have a green dot, meaning our slide is currently active. If we open up the slide settings, remove the slide condition we added before, and instead add a condition based on a weekday, we now have a red dot, meaning our slide is not active. One last thing to note is that we can add multiple conditions to a slide. Let's add a couple of conditions to this slide. In this example, this slide will only play between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., only on the screen called Sony Android TV, and only on Saturdays. If we look at slides with no slide conditions, we do not have the dotted line, and we do not have any colored indicators. Thanks for watching.